Hello. This is a videotape of fixtures and the air pump. We'll go over the fixtures first. This piece right here fits inside the tail section of the airplane about halfway back of the turtle deck. What it does is it pushes out on the fuselage. Um, those pieces right there, you can see that they have that. That is the base. It just sits on the floor and then this pushes out. You just wedge it till it pushes out. So when you clamp these two long bars along the outside with long the, the adjustable clamps from like Home Depot, the gripper kind, they work really nice. Um, as you can see, I put also um, masking tape on the edge that went against the fuselage. That way it didn't stick and then you just peel that off and what happens is you get a bond like this. Really nice. Uh, you get good squeeze out all the way along. The problem with this plan is you cannot see exactly where the skin is, so you have to go off the top. If you can see right there, that distance there versus the other side, it's a little bit shorter, but otherwise we get a really nice, good, clean bond. Um, and then you get good squeeze out all the way along. This is the modification to Jim's tooling for the front bulkhead for the vertical. Originally, this piece would have been mounted in a fixed position, but we realized it could come out of alignment. So Ralph had made it with these two pieces on the sides, which means you then locate it down the side of your fuselage. It slides into place. This piece then hooks in right there and then it can slide forward on the center line to be exactly where it needs to be and adjust it that way it accommodates different types and any kind of variation in a fixture very nice design we'll get some nice shots on that so people can see how to make that so there you go Now we're coming up on the fixture that locates the aft bulkhead, which is that part right there, and then the back hoop. It worked out very well, no major issues. We can also use this to um, get some pictures of actually how to make it. I went along the sides. So it came down the center line and uh, clamped right into place, set right on the airplane. Worked out very well. Okay. These are the fixtures I made for the inside fixture. What this is, is I'll flip it over so you can see how it works. Okay, it fits down right over the side of the fuselage. There's a little piece of foam at the bottom. You can see it right there on the outside leg or the left leg looking in this picture. And what that does is it pries it in and then the weight of the fixture um, just pushes right down. You slide it right down in and it works really nice. That would be the bottom. You can see this I'll come right up. The length of this arm can vary. Um, it doesn't have to be that long. I'll show you on the other one over there. It's only about 12 inches. That worked out very well also. Um, I'd like to do the same design for the back edge. Of the structure. This is the inside fixture as it stands right now. Uh, leave some tabs in there. This is one of the intersections. 
that's the front with some tabs. We come down the line. There's another one right there, right here. And then we come up at the back edge of the structure. Um, as you can see, we have this other type of structure in there. What I want to do is reuse this same bar with the padding, but hook it up and make it crossover just like I did. I think that'd be much easier to use um, and to handle. This was very awkward because you had to do one long piece, put the glue on it, set it into place, then take the other one, put it in, put all the glue on it, set it into place, and then put the clamp in. That took a long time out of that 15 minutes. It was a little tedious. Okay. This originally was going to do the turtle deck skin. We can still attempt it that way. Um, basically the way we wanted to do it worked out really well. We could actually do it in this fixture the same way using those arms as our clamping points. If we do that there needs to be a bar across the bottom so it will hold the pressure of the clamp. What I'm referring to is down here along the floor there needs to be one that is the same distance as that bar right there. So it makes like an H and then you just set that in. It'll work out really nice. This is the inside fixture. By the way, the inside fixture all these pieces fit nice and neatly right inside of it and it worked out very well. Okay, we're going to move to the outside fixture. Outside fixture. One note I want to make, and I'll zoom up on it, is this piece down here needs to be at a specific angle. Very hard to calculate that. So what I did was I notched off on that little swivel bracket. Um, it's grooves, just set it to the angle and then clamped it back on. It worked really nice.